Hi, my name is Simon from iFleet and I'm going to show you some of the features of the new team application we've got. So it works in most, um, most of the popular browsers including um, Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer. So first thing you do is to log in using the username and password you've been given by the iFleet team and then the first thing you will see when the app loads is a dashboard and the dashboard for your team contains key information about the readings of all of your individual squad members. So you can see over here this section is about compliance so who has entered their reading and uploaded it and who hasn't today. So we can see over on the right hand side various players here or athletes what time that their scores were uploaded and also whether or not they've recorded any comments with those scores you can see that there. You can also see probably importantly on the left hand side who hasn't yet um, uploaded their HRV and other comments today and when the last time they did actually uh, synchronize. Over here is a compliance meter so this tells us that 63 percent of the team in total have done. The next section here is um, is basically a summary of the key data for each of the people who have uploaded their uh, uh, their readings today. So we can see here on the left hand side one of the key things you want to look at uh, for exception management is the indicator. So these two um, here have got a, a normal range HRV, these two have got an amber and uh, this guy here has got a red. So you can see the actual HRV numbers here and other data that they may have recorded. Uh, it's probably a good point here to show you about the composition of the team. So you see we've got eight players in this particular example team up here. If you want to add another player or indeed if you've got a new account and you want to get started by adding players what you do is click on the plus button here and this will give you the opportunity to register a player with their first name and surname as you want it to appear in the menu on the left hand side date of birth, their position or other role in the team, height and weight if you want to record that importantly here is the username and password. Now you'll be creating these username and passwords and those will be given to the individual athlete for them to put into the mobile app. So on the edit screen on the mobile app when you look at the export options, the one for account the first time that's used you'll need to put this username and password in. You won't need to do it again after that. Um, you can also put in a mobile number for them and an email. And we will be uh, making use of these in future by, able, by um, being able to send SMS texts and email messages um, to the player as a result of um, the coach's assessment of uh, what their scores are and perhaps any changes or any recommendations for their training program uh, in that particular day. Okay, the next thing to show is the detailed data itself. So if we drill into one particular um, athlete here, you'll see uh, the default view is a month's worth of detailed data up to today. In case that looks a little bit overwhelming to start with, um, uh, you can uh, select only one or two variables at a time. If, for instance, you don't immediately want to see training load, you can switch that off. Heart rate, you can switch that off. Um, even the weekly moving average you can switch that off as well so that's the raw HRV data you can see right there together with exactly the same color codes that you'll be seeing in the mobile app The weekly moving average is of course a very handy feature and this shows you the overall baseline and by selectively enabling these things perhaps some of the trends immediately become more clear so you can see in the case of uh, this particular person who is of course me uh, the trend has been upwards over the past month um, we might want to see whether or not that happened in, in previous periods. Um, so we can step back a month at a time by using this control and we can see there that in fact it was a more recent, uh, recent trend, that upward one. And we can also see 
going back basically as far as you have data for that individual. Now the data for the individual could all have been on their mobile app for as long as they've been using it. The first time they sync with the team app, uh, it will all be uploaded, so it'll all be ready for the um, coach or trainer to see in that view. Okay, um, if the time period is um, not the most convenient time period that you want to see, then you can alter that up here. So you can change that from one month to three months. So you can see more data points there and perhaps longer term trends. You can also go six months or even a year if you want to. What you might also want to do um, is to compare a period of time, um, let's say this particular three month period, with what happened for that same player a year ago. So in that case you can go into a split mode and see all the data there and then click on that athlete again and then we can step all the way back here step back a few times <clears throat> we can see the same period from a year ago so you see this is February to May 20, 2012 and up here February to May 2013 so you can then get an impression of what's been going on and uh, again you can uh, you can enable or disable various parts so for instance if we didn't want to see the training load um, you might want to refine it here to not have the training load. Perhaps you don't want to see the heart rate either. You know, these are all flexible options to help you analyze and interpret the data. If perhaps instead of comparing it to myself a year ago, I wanted to compare it to another another player. Um, <clears throat> we can see somebody else here, member of the team, who's got higher HRV. Overall, we might want to see their trends. We might also want to see what amount of training that both of these uh, both of these guys have been doing, and see whether or not the training load has had a a role in the way that they've developed differently. Obviously, this is quite a useful feature for members of the same squad who are coming under um, similar training loads, and you want to see how differently they're responding. <clears throat> Okay, um, I think that was the main thing I wanted to show on the detailed uh, the, the, the timelines of the charts. So if we go back from split toggle mode now to full screen mode where we were before, let's put the training load and heart rate, resting heart rate back on again. One very handy here, feature here for the coach is that you can also see comments and other data uh, that the um, athlete or player has entered when they did a save with comments uh, when they took their morning reading. So I myself like to put in quite a lot of details so I can look over this afterwards and uh, see what the reason might be for particular trends in the data and for um, fitness and performance overall. I can see up at the top of this chart here that we've got the uh, the, the date and uh, day of the week, the time at which the reading was taken and sometimes people get up exceptionally early for events or they have a long lie-in. Now that can that can affect their HRV due to the circadian rhythms of their hormones um, so you might want to take that into account when looking uh, strictly at the number. Training load uh, can either be entered on the mobile app on the edit screen or if you want to click on the reading then what we can do here is that we can edit it so if the player hadn't entered a training load or if you wanted to change it you can do it here quite easily put in a different number if you wanted to you can also edit the comments and this might be a mechanism for um, uh, giving feedback um, as well save it when you finish doing that uh, one thing that I didn't show or didn't mention here uh, was the sleep score, so we've put that in the form of a sleepometer. So you can see um, for the uh, rating out of five how good the sleep score was, and uh, that's quite a handy way of just uh, keeping tabs on it. So, for instance, before this event, comment says short sleep, and uh, we've given it a two out of five. 
Okay, um, other things to show um, are that you can get back to the dashboard at any time um, by pressing the home uh, home uh, button up here, that'll take you back to the dashboard. That's the split screen view, that's to add a player, that's to delete a player. This is to renew or reload all of the data. If you've got readings coming in frequently, the app won't update uh, the um, uh, until you press the reload data. You've got some settings data here of which the main thing at the moment is language, supporting English and German currently, but um, we'll probably support other languages in future. Uh, the question mark button here is basically to give you access to a full online user guide, um, a video demo, and uh, for you to mail in, uh, email in questions uh, for support when that's implemented. Um, this is the final button to uh, log out, and once you've logged out, you'll get back um, to the home screen. A couple more things to mention up here. These are features under development at the moment. This will be the ability to send an SMS, a text message, um, to the mobile number that you've associated with that player. Uh, this will be the same thing, but to send them an email. And this is to edit their profile, for instance, if there's something about them that changed, their weight or their position, something like that. You've got some key uh, data uh, listed along the top here as well. Um, so for instance, you've got um, HRV average for the period, uh, HRV minimum, HRV maximum. And I think that's um, almost it. This feature shows the export options. So you can either print the chart in high resolution format um, you can download it as an image for including in other documents as a PDF or you can download the complete data for that player as a CSV file so basically all of the data uh, that was both uploaded from the app and edited uh, in here afterwards you can download as a single um, Excel compatible file. So that's it for the uh, overview of the T-Map um, uh, feel free to uh, write in to us or, or contact us with any suggestions of um, improvements, modifications, enhancements. We're very ready to listen to those and have done a number of enhancements already as a result of, uh, as a result of uh, your feedback. So thanks a lot for that.